Hi, my name is Kiana Sakamoto and I'm an American living in Paris. I've actually been living in Paris for about a year and a half now, but it's only now that I've been able to go through my archive of videos to put together these little vlogs for you. So first things first, my roommates just moved in and our kitchen needed to be furnished. So we went to the local MAUs, which is like a French version of Goodwill, to get everything that we needed for the kitchen. So once we got settled in and our kitchen set up, I was so, so excited to make chocolate chip cookies to host my friends for my first ever housewarming party. By now, I had only been living in Paris for about three months, but I was so, so excited to already have so many friends and so many international friends as well. And it just felt so much like home. It's Sunday. It's the day after my housewarming party. And I woke up to a very rainy day in Paris. And today I'm going to meet my friends at the museum because it's the first Sunday of November, first Sunday of the month. A lot of the museums are free. So we're going to try to do some museum hopping in the rain. So personally, I don't know much about the sculpture artist Rodin, but I did absolutely adore visiting this museum. Everywhere I looked, there was something absolutely stunning to look at, and it was just a very, very nice way to spend the afternoon with some friends. So I came to Paris to do my master's in lecture and design management. My program is M2, which means that it's only for one year, and because it's an alternate rhythm, that means that I had school for two to three weeks on, and then off for two to three weeks, depending on the semester. So for those of you watching my vlog, this essentially means that I would be in class for a few weeks at a time, and then off for a few weeks at a time, since I didn't have an alternates contract with the company. So today is Tuesday, November 8th, and I just did some laundry, cooked some lunch, and I'm just going to spend the rest of the day applying to internships. It's just such a long and tedious process. I know there's tens of thousands of students applying to internships right now for next month or next semester. So there's a lot of pressure and a lot of competition, but I'm still hopeful that I'll be able to find something. And I think I've already applied to 30 or more internships and I've gone a few rejections. I've heard back from some already. So I just have to keep applying until I find something. And so far, I'm feeling um, not too discouraged. I know that there's a lot of opportunities out there. And um, yeah, we'll see. It's a numbers game, I guess, at this point. Today is Wednesday and I'm all bundled up. I'm going to go check on the cats. I'm currently house sitting for my landlord. And I think I also am now a fan of cats and my allergies have magically disappeared. So that's been nice. Anyways, I'm going to check on the cats, then go to MAUs, which is kind of like the French Goodwill to look for a coat, some sweaters, just warm clothes in general, because even though my parents were originally planning on sending me some stuff, I think at this point it might be cheaper 
and easier if I just buy some thrifted coat or sweater. And then when I go home, just pack a bunch of warm clothes in my suitcase. So fingers crossed, I find something because I've gone thrifting like earlier this week and I didn't find anything. So I'm hoping that I'm gonna use, so I might find like a diamond in the rough kind of situation. And this is my outfit for today. So both of my friends back home in the US and in Paris know me for the girl who loves to thrift. It's like my low key addiction and I absolutely love it. It feels like a treasure hunt every single time. And I was super excited with the things that I was able to find during this little thrift session. Okay, so I just got back from the thrift store. I realized I spent four hours, four hours. Too much, I was just getting like overwhelmed at the end of the day and I haven't eaten lunch so I'm starving. Um, but I just wanted to look at everything and also the location that I went to is only open two days a week so it's basically like I either find something that day or not because I didn't want to go back <laughs> even though it's not that far but I just wanted to do my shopping get it done and then move on with life so I'm gonna show you what I bought so I got this dark forest green Zara coat and it was 18 euros, 18 euros. I got this long velvet maxi skirt for, I think it was five euros or six euros. This long sleeve shirt for six euros. It's plain, but I don't have a lot of long sleeve shirts. So I'm really glad that I found this one. Perfect for layering. And then my most exciting purchase is this guy. And it's an old shrunken employee sweater. It's just black. I can't believe that I found it. And as you can see, it says Louis Vuitton uniform. It's made in Italy and it's 100% wool. So it definitely needs to be cleaned a little bit, but what a cool find. And this one was 20 euros. And here's my little thrift haul. I'll try on everything later so you can see what everything looks like, but this is basically going to be my capsule wardrobe for the winter. Okay, so here's my little winter thrift haul try on session for you. I'm starting things off with my velvet maxi skirt and I still wear it super often to this day and it's very warm. I thought it'd be cute to style it with this little silk scarf, kind of adds a little bit more waist. And then next I'm trying on my more low long sleeve top. I actually found some holes in it afterwards, but it's okay. I was able to fix it and it's still very warm. And my trophy piece for this winter thrift haul, like I said, is this Louis Vuitton uniform sweater. It's definitely had better days. I will say it's not perfect, but it is very warm. After I kind of cleaned it up a bit, it's perfect. And I kind of like the quarter sleeve. And the last piece for my thrift haul is this Zara forest green coat. In general, I'm not a big fan of Zara and fast fashion in general. But hey, at the end of the day, second hand is second hand, and your girl needs a coat, so I make it work. So it's Thursday. I just finished shopping for the house, for the apartment, with my roommate. We got the last remaining things that we needed for the kitchen. And due to the metro strike, I had to change around my plans with my friend. Um, because where we originally wanted to meet was just going to way too far. So now I just walked to my mark and we're going to hang out here for a bit, maybe take some pictures and then go to Maison Rose or Cafe Rose. It's a famous pink one that 
I was told a lot of girls go take pictures in front of, and so of course, naturally, I had to be one of those girls who also wants to take a picture in front of it. So I'm hoping that we can go there. So we were a bit early to have an early dinner at La Mason Rose, but it was so worth it just to have a few small bites, and this fish gratin was so yummy. Okay, so I just finished dinner with my friend. We went to La Mason Rose, which was kind of time. So, so cute. It's very small. Honestly, I feel like they can only sit maybe like 10 people in there. But I'm really, really glad that we went for an early dinner so it wasn't caught if you were like the only ones there. And the service is great. It is, they were so kind. And yeah, really lovely evening. And it's Thursday, so I have to work on my thesis and uh, definitely plan more internships tomorrow as well. So still busy week ahead. So while I've been having breaks between classes, because again, I don't have an alternates contract with a company, I was lucky enough to be able to take some time to help my friend Raphael with his brand at his studio. It's always so much fun to go into the studio and see what he's been working on and do fittings and help contribute to the brand. I love supporting small designers and it really made me feel a part of the team. Okay, so today I reorganized my room a little bit. I now have the bookshelf down here with all my clothes. And now it just looks a lot, I mean, it's already a big and spacious room, but now it looks even more spacious because I basically moved everything up against the walls. And so now my lamp is over here. And my friend is here, but quickly, this is my rack now over here. So now it's just a lot more white open space. So speaking about small designers, Raphael's intern, Louise, is from Copenhagen, and she also designs her own clothes. So I offered to do a little modeling, shoot some content for her. So we walked together down to the canal to do a little shoot. So. This jacket is like a uh, reuse of a poster, upcycling of a poster. The clothing you use on uh, the shoulder has this amazing little lock. So it's a clothing uh, styled by a bra. Cool, and we got the pants with the pleats. There we go, they are a little too long for Kiana <laughs> because they're made way really long. <laughs> She just looked gorgeous, as always, but I'm so pleased to see her in my clothes. Thank you. <laughs> and if it rains, it works as a raincoat, so. <laughs> okay, so today is Sunday. I'm meeting my friend to go to the gallery to our exhibition. I am so, so excited. I've seen pictures from friends who have gone before, and I watched a YouTuber, like, she had a private tour of the exhibition. It was just, like, incredible. So I'm so, so excited to see it for myself. This is my outfit. I feel like it's a little over the top. I mean, it's just a coat that makes it a little bit over the top. And honestly, it's so sunny today that it almost looks like it's warm. And so I feel like wearing a coat like this, like it's almost like a little bit unnecessary because it's not even that cold today. But this choker is a belt from one of my pair of pants. And then the dress and the shoes are thrifted. And this bag is uh, a monster, it's basically vintage. I'm so, so excited for this exhibition just to be completely immersed in the world of Dior. And I'm so glad that my friend Alexian agreed to go with me.
So I can confidently say that the Dior Gallery exhibition was everything that I hoped that it could be and more. There's so much history, stunning visuals, stunning pieces. To see such beautiful couture up close, it was just a dream. I really loved seeing this Princess Diana dress up close. It's just magical to see so many important pieces, so many iconic dresses all in one place. Okay, so after we left the exhibition, we passed by what I call the Del Horse Prada Fountain. I don't even know what the actual name is, but every time I see this fountain, I'm reminded of the message to choose happiness on your own terms. So today's Friday, sending my first week back to school, and I literally had no idea what day it was this morning. I thought it was Thursday, to my pleasant surprise, today's Friday. But oh my god, this week has been like a total whirlwind. Jam packed. So normally after a full day of classes, I would usually stay behind on campus to work on my blog and go grocery shopping. And I was particularly excited about getting my first basil plant. As you can see, I'm absolutely thrilled. And I carried this little guy all the way back from La Defense to my home in Paris. So, I just finished my first week back to school. It's uh, November 19th. It's Friday. And, oh my god. Coming back to school after having weeks of time off really, really kicked my butt. Like, with the really intense study rhythm this past couple of few days and really, really long days of class, like nine to five. I'm leaving now. Um, usually I stay after class for an hour or two to do either things for the blog or school assignments, group projects, that kind of thing. So basically by the time I leave the apartment and then come back home, it's easily like a 10 to 12 hour day out and about. Uh, for school, so the really long days, and ooh, now it's quite cold, so I can't wait to go back home to the apartment, make some dinner, sleep a lot, try to not stress too much because I feel like I'm okay with my assignments and things, and I finally got some clarity as to which exams I have at the um. I think it starts in the middle of December. Ideally, I shouldn't be cramming too many things in the last minute, but we'll see. So much of the school chaos stems from the fact that the school system is different here. So it makes it really difficult to navigate. And there's just like kind of a constant uncertainty because things are a little bit less predictable because they don't know how things usually go down. So, got some clarity for my exams, so it should be okay. And tomorrow is a big event for Raphael's brand. I'm so excited. And on Sunday, I have some American friends coming to visit me. My university friends, I'm so excited. So, it should be a really good weekend. And I really, really like Really, really, really need to catch up on some sleep. So, happy Friday! I can't believe I made it through the week alive in one piece. 
So living with French roommates definitely has its perks sometimes because my roommate decided to host a raclette night which is basically melted cheese over meat and potatoes. It was my first time having this kind of meal and it was so delicious. So today's big day for Raphael Delacroix, the event that we are putting on to support my friend's brand. I'm so, so excited and I'm going to give you a little tour of the studio space. Okay, so here we're going to have some drinks and food. Here's one of the latest designs that Raphael made. I tried it on, the skirt's a little big on me, but it's so cool. I absolutely love the structure of the top. And of course the denim is all dead stock. I believe this denim is from Louis Vuitton. So it's just incredible quality fabric. Here, the studio got a little makeover. It's so clean and organized now. Louise and Raphael, you guys did a great job. This is a piece that I've worn before as well. I absolutely love the cut of the coat and the little neck detail on the top. Super cool. And see this blue and the blue that I'm wearing match. Okay, so we have some t-shirts. We're gonna do a raffle today as well. I believe Tony and Raphael worked on some new designs for the t-shirt as well that they're going to press onto t-shirts today. And then we have some ready to wear. It's gonna be sold for the event. And these are pieces that are eventually gonna be on the e-commerce website as well. And a little sneak peek into the atelier that also got a little love and attention because now it's significantly more organized and I'm so thrilled about that. So it looks really good. We are two hours until the event starts. So we're gonna eat lunch and uh, just practice some things, go over some last bit of things for the event. And I'm so, so excited. So during the week of Thanksgiving, my American friends decided to come visit me in Paris. And I was so, so happy to see them. They took one look at my room and they were like, oh my God, you have a princess ballerina room. So naturally, my friend Ivy, being the professional salsa dancer that she is, was showing my friend Sally some moves. So for dinner, we went to Bouillon Republic and for some reason, the fire alarm kept going off. I don't know why, but anyways, it's still one of my favorite places to eat, actually. Hi guys. Hey, we're at the Bonjour. Living her best life. So after dinner, we went to the Tuileries Christmas Market. It was actually my first time experiencing the Christmas Market in Paris as well, and I was really curious. I thought it was going to be more like a market, but in actuality, it's more like a carnival with rides and food. And anyways, it was still a lot of fun. It was very cold, but we got some hot wine to keep our hands warm, and my friend got a huge slice of nougat like a massive slice of nougat. Anyways, it was a lot of fun. We walked around, rode some rides, and it is definitely a fun and festive way to spend the holiday season. Got nougat, we went on the slides, the bumper cars, hot wine, and we got hot the wine. Christmas spirit. <laughs> So basically because there was no trust strike last month, we had a bunch of classes that were canceled and now pushed to November. And so now I basically have classes back to back to back for weeks 
until mid-December and then have exams. So currently I have just a lot of class including an exam already on Saturday for my elective course the data. So basically every day is starting to feel a little bit like a blur because of very little time in between now. Um, and I spend most of my days at school it, either in class or studying or working with your project down. So that's pretty much the current rhythm of everything. And I just can't wait to get classes over and done with and exams done. So mind you, this is my first time experiencing a European winter and I guess there's a power shortage that we're experiencing. So the school really didn't heat the building. It was cold almost all the time. So a lot of times I was wearing my coat inside even as I was working. I believe today is Thanksgiving. And I just got home after spending over 12 hours at the school. But I was really pressed to finish the blog post featuring my friend Louise's collection. So it was all worth it, but I'm really tired. And now I'm going to make a grilled cheese sandwich for my DIY American Thanksgiving dinner abroad. Okay, I don't know if you can tell, but the bread on my grilled cheese um, ripped because I had a bowl on top. I was trying to like keep it flat and then it ended up just poking a hole in my bread. But anyways, I think it looks pretty good. And then I have my tomato soup that I made from scratch like tomato puree because I couldn't find instant tomato soup. So anyways, it's probably healthier, but I did use a lot of cream. So, ah, oh, I can't wait to eat. So since it was my first time away from home for Thanksgiving, I really wanted to host a Friendsgiving at my place. So I made an ingredients list, a menu, and I invited a bunch of friends over to have Friendsgiving at my place. It was so much fun. Everyone was so curious and excited to experience a real American Thanksgiving. And I was more than happy to show them what an American Thanksgiving is like. Some people brought their own dishes and I found a rotisserie chicken because I had a hard time finding a whole chicken. And of course I had to make the legendary sweet potatoes with marshmallows. Watching my international friends try sweet potatoes with marshmallows for the first time was just so funny. Everyone thought it was way too sweet. My roommate made the most beautiful chocolate tart and we had so much food left over. It was just such a fun way to celebrate Friendsgiving in Paris. So today I'm picking up a package that my parents sent to me full of winter clothes and some Asian snacks. So, so excited. It was such chaos getting everything filled out and listing everything out to send. Just really, really kind of stressful and overwhelming process to ship a package abroad. But got my suitcase. My landlord was nice enough to sign for the package for me since I was in school this morning. And I'm so excited to get my winter clothes and things. Here's the box and I need to fit everything now into my suitcase so that I can roll over to my apartment. So I'm unboxing everything that my parents sent. It came in this huge box over here. So originally everything came in this big box. My dad did a really good job waterproofing and taking up the sides. It was, I think in total around 55 pounds and to make it easier to transport back to my apartment, I put everything in this check-in suitcase. So I have sweaters, some blankets, mom's old black boots for the upcoming winter. And I got some slippers. Cetaphil lotion is like literally the biggest essential, like the biggest skincare essential for me. I've definitely seasonal eczema and it's like, I can find Cetaphil here, but it's in a really small container. Not all the pharmacies seem to have it. So 
I was really, really desperate to get my hands on as much Cetaphil as possible. And then I also have some skinny snacks. Let's see. I think this is a sweater. I need to definitely unpack everything. I got some gift bags that my mom sent for um, Alexia and her mom because we got really close when I first moved out here. Some more sweaters. I think this is a blanket. I really, really need another blanket for my bed. It's not warm enough currently. And a huge winter coat. I need to take the vacuum bags off. But it cracks me up because I also had a few PR packages that were sent to my home address back in the States. And my parents used the same box to help ship more seaweed. <laughs> so we got seaweed in here. And then I think somewhere. Here we go. Let's make that. Um, yeah. But my parents were so clever to make use of every single box and every little empty space that they could find. So we got seaweed, some gifts, more seaweed because seaweed is actually kind of pricey here. Like you can find it at all the Asian markets, but it's not as cheap, I think, as in the States. I definitely miss Trader Joe's so much. Oh my gosh. Granola bars. Like this is being a student 101, granola bars. And more shoes and boots for the winter. Oh my god. My mom did an amazing job packing me so many snacks. I'm so glad that my parents sent me all this stuff so that I can be prepared and layer for the coming month. And yeah, mom and dad, if you're watching, thanks so much for sending me all this stuff. I feel so, so lucky and relieved to have more winter clothes and a good, a good stockpile of American and Asian snacks. So thank you. So it's Friday, I'm leaving school for the day, um, but I have to come back tomorrow because we have class on Saturday. And honestly, I didn't even know where to start, but this week has been just like utter chaos with the group projects. We have exams coming up and just a ton of administrative issues have come up with everything between asking for a standardized English calculator because originally they were gonna give us ones in French. I'm still waiting for my student ID. We're still waiting for the schedule for next semester for when we're gonna have classes. And I also found out that internship contracts are full-time, not part-time like they are in the States. So working next semester is actually going to be very difficult. Like I only have the option of finding a part-time job. And that's just not exactly what I had in mind considering that I wanted to start my professional work experience by doing an internship next semester. So morale's I think quite low amongst my international and exchange student friends because we all found it so far at the school to be quite chaotic, confusing. It's just very difficult to figure out who to reach out to for what and who to go to, wait for answers. It usually takes a long time like asking for just help with the calculator took almost a week if not more and so dealing with all these issues navigating a foreign school system I think is difficult in itself but I think that because my campus is new and the culture of French administration is notoriously slow and complicated so I understand I can't change the culture of an entire country on my own but I really believe that my school has a lot of potential and the education at its core is good. But I've had just a really hard time 
navigating the administration here and trying to figure out why things are the way that they are or why they can't be more efficient. And I they really struggled with that this week. Not only myself, but all my friends and other people in my class as well. And also the French students as well have an issue sometimes figuring out for figuring out things for the administrative issues. So it's not just international students. French students also have a hard time and I think that the schools in general here, that's just how it is, know that going to a foreign country is going to be even more of a challenge. Going to school, to doing a master's is difficult in itself, but doing it in a foreign country, of course it has added issues and challenges. And so I don't think that's just a reflection of just my one individualized experience at school. I want to be proud of my decision and education and choice to come here. And I don't want it to be for nothing. So I'm going to make the most out of everything, but I'm also going to be this time around more vocal about the questions that I have regarding the school. So, so now I'm going to go home, eat up some ravioli because I haven't eaten lunch, and then um, take a nap <laughs> and maybe go out with my friends for dinner and go dancing because it's been a long, long week at the school and I just want to do something fun and enjoy life. <laughs> more so. I think that's a pretty comprehensive update about everything and if you ever have questions or anyone ever has questions about my experience I'm more than happy to give feedback and I don't regret everything but there's a lot that I think that I just didn't know beforehand and there was no way for me to know beforehand and same for the other students so in the end we all help each other and like I said, most of the students are nice and in the administration, they're nice for the most part once you figure out who you need to reach out to or who you need to contact. But just getting to that point is sometimes really, really tricky. And even asking a simple question, if you ask the wrong person or that person doesn't know, it takes a long time to get an answer sometimes. So adjusting to all of that is very new and sometimes can be really frustrating. So that's it. But. I'm gonna go home now because my hand is getting really cold holding my phone.